Good morning. This is your morning sip. Whatever you're having this morning, whether it's coffee, tea, orange juice, apple juice, grapefruit juice, pineapple juice, whatever you're having, please have it with Jesus Christ. Today I'm having some ginger mint. Today you will find me coming to you from the book of Acts, and I would like to just, um, talk a little bit about the word power. And we'll be coming to you from Acts chapter chapter um, 1 and reading verse 8. But ye shall receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. Jesus Christ was telling his disciples that they will receive power. Now I know today in the day's world, we, when we hear about the word power, a lot of people are power hungry. They want power and they want power to do what they want to do and plenty of times they get power and they don't know who they misuse power. Today I'm going to ask you what type of power um, will you be in the world? What type of force will you be in the world? Um, are you going to be the type of power that is that brings healing, that brings peace, that brings contentment to the world? Or are you going to be the type of power that brings destruction, that brings heartache, that brings hardship? Today, the question is asked for us to search ourselves and to see whether we have the right type of power in our hearts, in our minds, and in our spirits. Um, today, I would like to share a little bit about power. He said there are many forms of power. And um, power, when we look at the word power, we have um, some words that come out of power. And I would like to share a Greek word with you. There's a Greek word called to describe power called um, dynamis. Dynamis is the word and um, used to describe power and from dynamis comes all kind of good works doing good things helping showing showing um love um, um um doing good works and then from the word dynamis derives the word dynamite which means power or powerful also and dynamite is used for and that and and and, and 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 from that word the english word dynamite is derived and from dynamite dynamite is used to to blow up, to destroy, to um, to, to to cause harm, um, and to dis um to bring destruction, right? And so I'm gonna ask you today: What are you gonna be in the world today? Are you gonna be um, use your power for good, to help, to build, to strengthen, to share light with others and lead them into the path of truth? Or are you going to use your power of influence to bring destruction and to bring mayhem? Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Gracious and eternal Father God, we ask that today that as people seek after power, they seek after power, help them to seek after you and your will, Father God, to allow your Holy Spirit to guide them and to direct them, O oh God. Father God, let your Holy Spirit be that which will be the beacon that will light the way for them, O oh God. And Father God, that they will go into the world and they will do good, Father God, to help all humanity oh god father god if we have ever abused our power to hurt to discourage to break down to pull down father we ask your forgiveness today but father god we ask that as we use power father god that we will use it to the honor and the glory of your name and father god that we would use it to bring healing that we will bring it to use um, use it to bring strength in the name of jesus the christ father god as we go today as we walk in faith hope love and victory I ask that we walk under the anointing of your Holy Spirit, which gives us power to do great works. In the name of Jesus the Christ, amen. Now today, if you, I pray that you pray that prayer. And if you lack power, you can ask of God, which is able to give you. And, you could, and the only way you can have this ultimate true power is by accepting the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Today, I would like for you to go and share this with your WhatsApp groups, your your family groups, your Facebook groups, and you could tell persons that they could go to our YouTube page, which is called Uncle Irv's Morning Sip, which is U R V apostrophe S. Today, I want you to go and share love with someone, help them to know that there is still power in the name of Jesus Christ. All right, so go out and enjoy your day. This is your morning sip. God bless you.